Hello, my little naughties. Welcome to Goya Tales. So today, I'm not going to narrate a whole story for you. It's a little bit different because today we are going to start a new series, which is called What's Inside. And in this What's What's Inside series, what I'm going to do is not tell you the whole story, but I will tell you what the story is about, what are the characters in the story, and then we will read a few pages from the book. Okay, so today it's the first video of this series, and I have a wonderful book for all of you. It is Elma and Grandpa Eldo. So this book it's written and illustrated by David Mackey and it's published by Anderson Press and um, it's a very very cute book because it's about elephants and elephants are cute no don't you think so they're so big and they're so huge but they are also cute and lovely have you ever seen a baby elephant play it looks so cute no so this book is about elephants and the hero of this book is Elma. Who is Elma? Elma is this colorful patchwork elephant. So Elma is called a patchwork elephant because he's so colorful. No, It's like a, a patchwork done with uh, you know colors and uh, grids of so many colors. So in this book, Elma is visiting his grandpa. And he is trying to have a very fun time and he's trying to remind his grandpa of all the fun things that they did together when Elma was much younger. Like we all used to visit our grandparents house, you no? Know, when we visit our grandparents and um, obviously when we were much younger like babies or you know a little younger children, our grandparents would have done so many things with us. They would have fed us a lot of times. They would have told so many stories. They would have played so many games with us. And they would have, uh, you know, taken us outside to park, to a walk or somewhere. So we would have done so many things with our grandparents. Have you ever tried to sit with them and talk about all those when you, you know, all those things that you've done with them when you were much younger, like little children? You should see their faces. You know, even we feel so happy, but more than us, you should see our grandparents' face. They'll become so happy and excited to tell you everything that you did together with them. You know, they, they cherish all those moments. They love these moments and they hold it as a treasure. Really, they used to love those things. Similarly, in this book, Elma, when he visits his grandpa Eldo, he tries to talk about so many things that they did, you know, together when Elma was younger. But Eldo seems to have forgotten almost everything. When people get older, and you know, you would have lived for so many years, so you will have a lot of memories and so much of information inside your head. So naturally, you will tend to forget something, no? So that is why people who are growing older, they tend to forget a little bit. Similarly, in this story, Grandpa Eldo also, he tends to have forgotten a few things. So Elmer keeps reminding him, oh, what Grandpa, you don't remember this, you don't remember this. And he tries to remind his Grandpa of all those wonderful times they had together. But finally, Elmer realizes that Eldo has not exactly forgotten. He was just playing with Elmer because Eldo is an elephant, no? And you know what? Elephants have such a strong and very good memory that they almost they don't forget anything at all. You know that? So elephants have such very good memory. So Eldo is also an elephant. So he did not forget anything but he was just trying to pull Elmer's leg and tease him and just play with him. Okay, so I will show and read a few pages from this book for you. 
so uh, this book as i said it's a very very colorful book not only elma see even the book is so colorful and all the pictures and illustrations they look so lovely and cute so now elma one day he tries to uh, so he plans to visit his grandpa and what happens on that day he is taking something along with him that his grandpa likes uh, the most so when uh, elma visits grandpa eldo in this page see grandpa eldo is asking oh what is that on your head and elma says that's your favorite fruit eldo becomes so happy eldo says ha ah, fancy you remembering the hat oh you remember that hmm said eldo and then elma says i remember lots of things so elmer is feeling so proud and he says i remember lots of things and then eldo asks really hmm so now eldo and elma they start walking together and eldo asks okay so what else do you remember you say you remember a lot of things what else do you remember elma says oh the walks we used to go on and eldo is like walks where did we go and then elma says don't you remember grandpa come i will show you i remember everything i will show you come on and then they go for a walk and elmer also reminds grandpa like what they used to do while going on a walk and from there he takes grandpa to a uh, other place like different places like stream lake and what all they've done together what all they've played in the stream and lake so all of these things they uh try to recollect and they remember all those things and then they start singing songs they have so much fun inside the jungle they are having a lot of fun time together now and after that after some time it starts raining so when you rain obviously you need a shelter no so inside the jungle there is this cave and so when it's raining uh, elmer and grandpa eldo they run into the cave for shelter so like this while standing inside uh, the cave what do they do now elmer tries asking eldo hmm grandpa surely you remember all those stories that you used to tell me no eldo frowns um stories what were they so he is trying to say that you know i don't remember what are all the stories that i have told you and elmo starts listing all the stories that grandpa used to tell him so he says ha ah, red riding hood jack and the beanstalk cinderella three little pigs and even elmo seems to be forgetting he is like um um ha ah, sleeping beauty um so elmer is also thinking and then now what happens eldo joins he says hansel and gretel tom tom goldilocks and the three bears so eldo has not forgotten anything so elmer is like ah you cheat you do remember don't you so elmer just realizes that grandpa has not forgotten anything he was just playing with elmer and after the rain stops and they are just running again and playing a lot of things together so now it's time for elmer to leave and now uh, at the time of leaving so this is how elmer is bidding goodbye to his grandpa eldo but then elmer says ha ah, grandpa it's been so much fun with you you know meeting you again you really remembered everything don't you only now elmer has realized ah okay so you really did remember everything didn't you grandpa and then grandpa eldo chuckles <laughs> yes i did remember and i was so happy that you did too but best of all you remember to visit me oh see so grandpa eldo is happy that elma remembers everything that they did together but more than everything he thinks the best is 
Elmer remembered to go and visit him. No? See how lovely and affectionate they are. So Elmer smiled. Bye, Grandpa. He said, I'll see you soon again. So I'll come and visit you again. So this is how lovely and wonderful it will be when we go and meet our grandparents too. So we should remember to visit them very often. Whenever we get time, whenever we get holidays, you know, it's like that. So now run to your parents and ask, what all did I do with my grandparents when I was young? Where have they taken me? What have they done, you know, with me? Have, do they tell stories? Uh, do they feed me? Do they take me to the park? So you get every information, all the information from your parents and you talk to your grandparents. They'll be so, so, so happy. Okay, children. And if you want to read this book, you just buy and uh, try reading this book. It's a wonderful story. And there are other stories in the series as well, which is like, you know, Elmer series. So this is Elmer and this is Elmer and the Rainbow and this is Elmer and Wilbur and this is Elmer in the Snow. This is Elmer and Rose and this is Elmer and the Wind. So there are so many other stories also with Elmer as the hero. So if you want, just buy all these books and read. Okay, they are all so lovely and cute. And I will come and meet you next week with a story. Okay? Bye-bye!